my cuties of all cutinesses. This is already number 9 in my 10 party looks for 2016. For the holidays, of course. Well, this is the most minimalistic look I have ever done. And as you will see, it's a very short video too, but the eyes are the focus of this whole look. They do not have much, it's only a wing, but that wing says it all. As you see, this is a very, very beautiful, sexy winged eyeliner. No smoky eye, no colored uh, eyeshadow or anything. It's just eyeliner and falsies. If you want to see how I did this minimalistic but wonderful look, you'll just have to keep on watching as it's getting started right now. Hello darlings! You're gonna say, what? She's almost completely done with her makeup. Well, yes, indeed I am. Because the look that I'm gonna do for you today is the most minimalistic possible eyeliner, but one of the hardest ones to do. Because it's gonna be only winged eyeliner and it has to be perfect. And that's very, very hard to do. So I am going to start with my left eye because I'm right-handed and it'll be easier to adjust or to try to make them match evenly with my right hand on my right side. So, what I'm gonna do is start in the middle of the eyelid, very thin, work my way to the outer corner of my eye, as close, as close to the lashes as possible. And that is the beginning of this entire look because this is going to be only the outer corner of the eye so it's gonna be very very difficult but you can work it off very perfectly this is a magical look it's really so festive with so little so I'm now gonna make a wing on this side As you see, this is just an outer wing on the eye with nothing else. The hardest part of this look is to not get your product anywhere else but there. I didn't use a transition color. I haven't used an eyeshadow, nothing. And that has to dry. And in the meantime, I'm gonna try to mimic the same on the other side. And I know it's not even yet, but this edge you can make as big as you want, this outer wing. But it's just starting from the outer corner of the eye.
and it's not going or doing anything else but get more evened out, get more smooth. But you can go with the tiniest bit to the inner corner because there are gonna be falsies. If you have huge lashes or semi-permanent falsies you will not have to go in that far because it is not going to be covered with lashes and this is going to be covered but I am as you see not doing anything else and this is going to be a very short video this time because I'm doing nothing else but this outer corner that one's higher, this one's more angled, so I'm going to come lower to the outer tip here of my eye and connect it to the wing. Without making the entire wing bigger. You can use tape for this if you like but I chose to freehand it if you do use tape it's a lot easier because you get a guideline but you will have to make sure that your tape is stuck in the perfect place too and that is not that easy as you think I think it's very cute and this is all this look is needing and all this look is gonna get so number nine in my ten videos is the shortest one I ever did but it is gonna be marvelous once it's done because there's gonna be lips and now I'm gonna put on my falsies Now as you can see, it's a totally different view once there are lashes. Complete different look. But I love it. Especially for its simplicity, but also because it's so hard to do. It looks easy, but you would be amazed if you try this. how hard it actually is as you see this is a kind of a Bambi eye minimalistic top makeup if you ask me so what you now can do is add a little bit of color or add a little bit of depth and dimension but you can also use a translucent powder in your crease I'm gonna take if I can find one that I like a very very light tiny bit of shimmer for instance this here that I'm gonna put on a very big fluffy brush which I normally use to apply my transition color with which is a very neutral color then but now I'm gonna use it as a tiny tiny touch of color and only up in the crease and do not try this unless you're absolutely sure that your liner is completely dry. You can do this in advance, but 
I do not like to work on um, a glitter base if it's got to be this refined and perfect. So all I'm bringing in now is a little bit of shimmer but no color. And I thought I dropped something. Ah yeah, indeed. My beauty bundle. So just beneath the brows and on the inner corner I'm gonna put a little 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 tiny touch of white. And I'm looking for the perfect brush to do that with and I'm gonna take this small round one here. I'm gonna take the same palette. I'm gonna take the white which is a very shimmery white. I'm just gonna bring a little bit under my eyebrow. Mostly just where it curves and blend out to the edges. As you might see it brings a little sparkle but doesn't overdo anything. But for the inner corner of the eye, it's just not doing it for me. So I'm taking a little bit of my Undress Your Skin from Makeup Academy highlighter. And I'm gonna pop that extra on the inner corner. And the only thing that this eye needs is mascara. Very, very carefully applied mascara. And that scares the hell out of me, as you know. First I'm gonna blend my own with the falsies. You can also tight line your eyes, but I don't like that. I hate that, as a matter of fact. So I just won't do that. This is a pretty thin applicator so I'm gonna see if I can catch my lashes without touching my skin because it's completely bare under this eye. So just try to only touch your lashes. And it's okay to start with a very, very small, thin coat. You can always add instead of taking away. This is the eye look for today, people. That's all this look needs. A very, very outstanding wing, nice lashes, and that's it. That's all. What you can do is take a tiny little bit of your black eyeliner and place that just in this inner corner of your eye so that you do not see the start of your falsies that obviously. Now, for lips, I would go for a very nude or a explosion of red. Now, I am wearing a very nude lip gloss and so this is look number 9 in my 10 holiday looks. Here is the result. Very simple, very minimalistic, but also oh beautiful. So, I want to thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below. Give me some thumbs up. And for me, as always, there's only one thing left to say. And that is, my love for makeup is spread all over to you. And I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos. Maybe even in my next coming video my last one in this 
10 party looks for the holidays 2016. So, hope to see you then. So for now, bye bye.